Hello, 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 hello. This is Ella and welcome to the channel. Today I'm diving into the exciting world of 3D design. I'm going to show you the process of exporting Cloud 3D files to Blender while maintaining the uh, exact absolute texture. A heads up though, uh, this method works perfectly, but it only works with non motion designs. That means if you have added some motion to it some runways of movement it won't work this way it has another way that i'm going to tell you later but let's dive in it today's project is focused on this uh, beautiful 3d garments which i created in cloud 3d in the fabric section you can see three types of fabric and for edit or add texture uh, to get a better render in blender you need to uh, export and import all of them in a separate ways over here if i click on fabric number one you can see some um, yellow lines around them so we need to delete all of these and the avatar to export but before exporting let's just delete everything that is not included in this fabric i also deleted the avatar and then on the simulation before exporting we need to come to uv editor uh, reset uv to two derangement and then fit all uv zero to one press ok and come here file and export obj okay let me warn you please 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 make a new folder with exporting obj file it's quite difficult to find every single parts and textures and put them together so I prefer to uh, make a new folder and put all of my textures and files there. So here in export obj we need to single object will take unified UV uh, coordinate centimeters and save it absolute texture. So press OK. On your keyboard hit Ctrl Z to get back where you were before okay right now we need to export uh, the uh, second uh, fabric so let's delete all of them but the second fabric and also the avatar how about this one? No, this one is also should be not here. And the file export OBJ fabric to save single object world tick and centimeter save it absolute texture hit ok okay the last one uh, i want to export the avatar and that's completely up to you if you want to um use the avatar or oh, no because it works in both ways so export obj single world and centimeter say with absolute textures and okay again press ctrl z go back to where you were and we don't need cloud 3d anymore let's go to the blender right now i'm using blender 3.3 i think this is the latest one and right now wherever whenever you open the blender 
it will open with uh, three objects in the scene so you need to choose all of them and hit delete on your keypad and come here to file import and as you can see there is wavefront obj let's find our file some of them are in mtl file some of them in obj file so we need to choose all of them and come here 0 0.1 and import wavefront obj here you go this is our stuff okay if you are completely absolute beginner you need to add light in your scene so you can see the texture basically you cannot see your texture uh, clearly if you don't have any um, light in the scene so uh, hold shift and a here you can see light whichever you choose it doesn't matter i'm gonna go with the area light and another thing is that you cannot choose anything in blender and just move it with your mouse so click on it press g and then press z to move it up and then if you can see over here there is a um, light icon over here i'm gonna make the power to 40 and then over here blender has uh, four types of view and this one is the render view which we can see here you go this is what you got we're done with all the exporting and importing right now if you want to do the render part only come to here and render cycles and in max sample i personally choose uh, to have 400 uh, samples here and then for um, click on render we need to add a camera which is also shift a uh, move it wherever you need with g of course don't forget put it wherever you need to and this is the camera wheel here we go i'm gonna change this one to 2000 pixel to 2000s as well and okay now we can render it if you like it come over here render render image and this would be your very first blender render hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe and like bye